Paradigm Breeze Nation question on the table today. Are the Chicago Bears set at defensive line, seeing as how they just let Akeem Hicks walk away to sign with the Buccaneers? Let's talk about it, starting now. Now, if you are new to the channel, please like the video. Please subscribe to the page as we do talk Chicago sports daily on this channel. It's the only channel talking Chicago sports, how Chicago talks. So make sure that you get in tune with us, man. So, Keem Hicks signs with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. $10 million for one year for Keem Hicks. Would I have loved to have Keem back? Yes. A little rich for my blood? Yes. Um, 10 million to me, oh, oh, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Based on the fact that you don't know whether he's going to be healthy or not, $10 million well spent for them because even if he's not healthy, it's still one of the best defensive lines in the NFL versus here where if he's not healthy, it could be a major piece missing for you. But the question on the table, is the Bears line set? Have the Bears done enough at this defensive line position where you're probably going to see Robert Quinn, Travis Gibson, Travis Gibson, um, Al Kadeen Muhammad, Justin Jones, Chris Tonga, Mario Edwards, Angelo Blackson, Jeremiah Acho. You know what I'm saying? And some of these guys might not even make it there. You're also going to see Dominique Robinson, your rookie out of Miami of Ohio, that the Bears seem to be pretty high on just based on a uh, athleticism and ability standpoint um, and just trying to refine him from a skill standpoint. But is that enough going into this season? Because it's very important for this defensive line to be set and ready to go. Why? That's how you get your secondary well. You're going to have four to five seconds. I said this on the Daily Show today. Every day from 11 to 1. Check it out. You're going to have four to five seconds before that coverage breaks down. And really, with a lot of the underneath stuff now, two to three seconds, you have to get to the quarterback. And I think that the Bears have a good enough roster to get to the quarterback. Like I said, I expect Robert Quinn to be back. Um, anytime Jason Lockerford reports something, expect the opposite in spades. So he'll probably be back for like two more seasons, right? I expect Robert Quinn to be back. I don't expect him to have another 18 and a half sack season. But I do expect him to get off to a good start as long as he's healthy, right? When he was healthy, he was able to get to the quarterback. He was able to be dominant. I think he's going to take over for that Khalil Mack role that the Bears were missing and even that he filled last season, right? On the opposite side of him, you're probably going to see a Travis Gimson where even though he got off to a little bit of a slow start after Matt came or after Matt got injured, right? When he was able to start rolling, that team was able to push through and, and he was able to do some really good things for the Chicago Bears and force some pressure last season where he had seven sacks and five forced fumbles in nine starts. So that's probably what you plan on seeing opposite of that. And you've got pressure coming from both sides. You've got guys that can get to the quarterback, guys that can attack the quarterback. I don't need Travis Gibson to be a star. I would like him to turn into one as the as the uh, uh, unquestioned starter, right? But I don't need him to be a star for the Chicago Bears. I just need him to cause enough pressure to force the quarterback into, in this situation, Robert Quinn, right? Uh, that's going to be your premier guy. That's going to be your guy that's going to be doing most of the work there. You're more than likely going to have Justin Jones and Chris Tonga coming up the middle. Two guys that Justin Jones, more of a third down run stopper guy. Excellent. Chris Tonga, a very good run stopping guy as well. Um, are they going to be able to force the pressure on those passing downs? That's going to be the interesting part to see. But I will say this, right? For me, the Chicago Bears uh, 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 grow these guys on trees. I know it seems weird, right? But the Chicago Bears and the defensive line are synonymous. Now, last season... A lot of the hopes hinged on guys being healthy. The difference here is we've got a lot of guys coming in who have been more so healthy. Uh, at least last season, we know Robert Quinn before that wasn't the the healthiest and, and was unable to perform well. But we've got guys, at least on this line this season, that have been the healthy guys. They are the younger guys. They're the guys that are going to get more of the run. Uh, and I think there's going to they're going to be able to put up some good pressure versus these opposing defenses, especially knowing that the teams you're going up against are not the most stout of teams. And now, before I continue with the video, I do want to know you guys' opinion, man. Let me know in the comments below. Is this Chicago Bears defensive line set? I'll be down there talking with you in the comments as well. Now, here's the thing, right? There's, there's a two-part question for me. Is this Chicago Bears defensive line set? For this season, yes. And drop a yes or no in the comments below. Every comment helps us out. For this season, yes, right? Because the teams that you're playing, like I said, 
Don't strike fear into the hearts of men. They're not coming out balling out, attacking you left and right. Um, there's not maulers on every offensive line that you're facing. I think that this that this defensive line is set for this season. Moving forward, do I think that this defensive line, when you're playing tougher schedules, tougher teams, and things like that, is going to be competent enough? And with an aging Robert Quinn, do I think that they have enough pieces? No. But that doesn't hurt us right now, right? Like, that, that that's the thing. We have to think this season and then long term. Um, there's some names on this team, absolutely, that I think could get after the quarterback right now. Like I said, Travis Gimson. Uh, I really like the fact that the Bears went out and got Justin Jones. And I think that they, they plan on uh, possibly having Dominique Robinson not only be a guy this season, right? Because you're going to have to find a replacement for Quinn at some point. He is getting up there in age uh, for a defensive end. I, but I think that Dominique Robinson is probably going to be your premier edge rusher of the future based on how these guys are talking about him, right? Based on how they're planning on putting him out there. But even if he's not, the Bears can find defensive linemen, and they've proven that based on the fact that we lost a bunch of guys. We lost the Keem Hicks. We lose Khalil Mack. And I still don't feel like this defensive line has been decimated. So I feel good about this defensive line coming into this season, yes. Uh, long term, I would like to see some more premier names, but guess how you find premier names? Guys make premier plays. You might have some premier names on this line already. But the main thing is getting pressure on the quarterback that's going to improve those young pieces you have in your secondary that's going to improve Jalen, uh, uh, Jaquan Brisker, Jalen Johnson, uh, Kyle, Kyler Gordon, you know what I'm saying? All of those pieces improve if your defensive line is able to get pressure on the quarterback and force him to rush. And I think that the Bears are going to be able to do a lot of that this season, seeing as how we don't exactly go up against the cream of the crop most of the year. But I want to know how you guys feel, man. Let me know in the comments below. I'll be down there talking with you as well. Do you feel like the Chicago Bears defensive line is set? I can't wait to hear what you guys think, man. To continue watching our Chicago Bears content, click the links on the screen or check the links in the description below. As always, man, it's your boy, Pat the Designer, back at it again. Y'all stay safe out there, Chicago. Peace.